Okay, so we want to mute out the call, mute out everybody. Tim, let's mute them out. Let's mute them out. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, can you hear me? Put a thumbs up if you can hear. I guess not. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody put their thumbs up. Okay, what we love on this call, guys, is participation. So definitely participate, participate. You know, we do these trainings because, of course, we want you to uh, apply what you learn. Um, I want to send a shout out, first of all, to, is Susie White on the call? I wonder if Susie White is on the call. She was out in Texas. Oh, yeah, I do see Susie. Okay, Susie White, I just want to say shout out to you because I just saw on a post, you posted your can, and you know what that just tells me? That our training sometimes is not in vain. Some of us are applying what we learn. And one of the things that we talked about in Dallas was I was sharing with them a story about what my mom, um, which what my mom taught us as, you know, when we were little kids, we would open up our cabinets and guess what she would have in there? She would actually cover the can with, uh, um, she says, success comes in cans not cannot. So that's what I remembered as a child. I shared that in Dallas. And so Susie posted that on my wall. And I saw that in one of the, uh, you know, in my comments, in the comment section. So when y'all get a chance, check that out. But I, I do appreciate you doing that, Susie, because it just showed me that, okay, somebody did take something back, you know, so they are applying what, you know, what we, what we we're talking about in some of these trainings. And that's a good thing. Because one of the things that I always talk about for training is that I know a lot of people absorb training. They just get on trainings and they get on trainings. And after a while, to me, it's like, why are we on these trainings? You know, because if you're not going to be here to take notes and write it down and then go back to look at those notes and apply them, what good is training? Okay. So I've been in the industry, guys, for over 20 something years. My name is Desiree Ingram for those who are meeting me for the first time and for those who got to meet me in Dallas and, and Vegas and we actually got to hug. That's the type of meetings I love. I love to be able to meet with every single person and, and, and hug and, and physically touch people. And that's what, um, what I'm used to doing, you know. I don't really care for the Zooms and, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. We have to do the Zooms, so we do the Zooms. We've gotten, um, uh, you know, away from actually doing meetings because when COVID came in, it kind of changed the scene for us. But at the end of the day, we are social beings and we need people and we need to touch and feel. So don't be afraid to go out and still market to people outside of social media, guys. I'm saying that for that reason, because I am actually sharing the business with more people outside of social media than I'm on social media. You might see posts from me on social media, but for real, for real, I'm just being transparent. I talk to a lot more people out in the fields, in the restaurants. I'm always eating at restaurants. I'm talking to each and every person in the restaurant. If I'm at the hospital with somebody at a doctor's appointment, like when I was with my mom, I'm talking to those people. I'm talking to every single person and I'm not leaving no stone unturned. But I guarantee you, there are more people outside that you're coming across to because you're not always on social media 24 seven. Most of you guys are working a nine to five. You are working a nine to five. You are in the elevators and you are running into people. You are like, um, what's the name I always used to say? The humans. I always love that when she say, talk to the humans. Okay. And it's so true. The humans are outside. The humans are not necessarily always on social media. And I'm going to say that because a lot of times some people think I'm on social media and I'm really not on social media. I'm on social media for a hot minute. I'll put a post out and then I'm gone. I'm doing something else. So when you're thinking that somebody's necessarily on social media, they may not necessarily be on social media. Okay. So I'm just letting you know that because there's a lot of people that think like, Des, you're on social media. I'm, I'm on social media, but then I'm off of social media. I might do a video 
And then the next thing I know, I'm off social media and I'm doing other things in my household with my kids, my grands. And um, again, I'll go back to social media, check my posts. I'm interacting, engaging with other people on social media, but then I got to go off. So again, I'm more, I'm outside with more uh, people on the outside world and I'm actually able to talk to those people and they're out there guys and they need to know about live good and a lot of them don't know about live good but before i get into any more of what i want to say i'm going to turn it over because i believe tim wanted to come and share about what did you want to share about tim you wanted to come in, uh, and sh- let's talk about the numbers and some things and just guide us through some of the things can you hear me okay i hear you loud and clear let me see if i can pull this up i got my I'm trying to do this internet thing. All right, guys, everybody take notes. Take notes. First of all, I want to share with everyone. I've been in the network marketing industry for 30 years. My only income has ever come from network marketing. So I haven't just been in companies. I've made a living in companies. And I think Dez will kind of tell you some stories here in just a little bit. But I I need you to take notes. I want to share something with you. We are in the midst of the slowest months of network marketing. People are taking vacations. They're out with their kids. It's just the dynamic of the industry. We know the numbers. Everything is dropped. Network marketing companies now are trying to run conventions and hype and new products and blah, blah, blah. Why? Just to keep the momentum going. But let me tell you what Live Good is doing. Let me tell you what you guys have your hands on, whether you're doing it or not. It's not about you. It's never about you. But just let's look at the numbers because the numbers don't lie. Marketers lie. On social media, a bunch of lies, but we're going to talk real numbers right now. And I want you guys to write this down and understand it's not about you, but just listen to these numbers because the numbers don't lie. They never lie. Last week alone, last week, can you hear me, Des? Yes, yes, I hear you. Last week alone, 2,514 people in this company hit bronze. That means 2,514 people broke even. They have no auto ship, $9.95 a month. They are broken even. That is unheard of in this industry. But let's keep it moving. Three hundred and twenty-five people hit silver. Forty-eight people hit gold. Nine platinum and a brand new diamond. And diamond is where the action is. You have to listen to me. You have to rank up to bank up. Now. Within the listen to this, listen. Let me just say, tell you guys how crazy this is. In the next ten days, we are launching the new hydration amplifier sticks. What does that mean? Just more value to the membership. We're rolling out a skincare line, a gut support. This is a game changer, folks. CBN sleep gummies we're talking in the next few weeks live good is changing this entire crazy industry i have been hurt i have been burned i have been smoked but i fell in love with network marketing 30 years ago why let me tell you why why i fell in love with this industry Because there was a promise that if you worked hard, listen to me again. Let me say that again. If you worked hard, 
you could build back in residual income. What do I mean by back in residual income? Dad's going to talk about this in just a moment. Money coming in, whether you get out of bed or not, it's not about me. It's no longer about Timbo. It's no longer about what I can do and what I can build. I've been doing this a long time. I've built relationships. I've never burned anybody. I've never done a money game. I've never done a scheme. I've never done a scam. I always kept it right. Going back to my first days in this industry. But there was one company I fell in love with. It was a little old company called Prime America. A.L. Williams. They had a mission to fix what was wrong, to make what was wrong right. Live Good is making the industry right. No longer, no longer can we go out here and sell overpriced products just to pay commissions to a few people at the top of compensation plan. It is wrong. It has to stop. And we can do it. We can do it by showing people there's a better way. This makes no sense. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's not about the money. It's wrong. And it has to change. And each and every one of you are in front of it. Something so big. The second reason I love this company is because we are bringing people together. We're living in a world right now where everything's broken. Everything's wrong. It just doesn't add up. It's all about me, me, me. Ah, ah, ah. Greed, greed, greed. And average people are struggling. And it's wrong. It's wrong. But when I wake up every day and I go on so my social media account, I see people from countries around the world, countries that are in wars right now. People are dying. But I see people coming together and say, you know what? One by one, one membership at a time, we can change this. We can make it right. We can change lives. When we're in South America, when we're in countries like Russia and Ukraine, listen to, listen to what I just said. We're building huge organizations in Russia and Ukraine. That is amazing. That's making a difference. When we're not judging people by who they are and what they are. and No, just normal people that just want a second chance. Just want something different. Just want to win. That's what I stand for. I don't care about the money. I could join any network marketing company on the planet, and I'll, I can make money. It's not about me. It's about each and every one of you. You don't believe me? Let me just reach out to a few people before I bring you back up there as it turns over. But this morning, I wanted to talk to everybody. Listen. The month is over tomorrow night at midnight. What are you going to be ranked at? How much are you going to get paid next month? What's your back office going to look like? It's not about me. I can't do it for you. Don't hit me up and, Tim, um, what can you do for me? I need two. No. You can't get two people. I just put my daughter in. Oh, I love the devil. That's my daughter. And I said, you know what? If you want this, we can do this. I'll help you. I'm your dad. So when you see me posting, that's what I do. You can't get two people. Go get go get your wife and your kid. Put them in now. It's no longer. It's not waiting season. But don't just put them in to say I have two and I'm bronze. No, you help them get two, and you help them get two, and you just keep repeating that and forget the noise and the nonsense and these schemes and these scams and these gimmicks. When is enough enough? When do we stop? When is enough? When can the people just stand up and say, you know what? We all just want to win. We want to better our lives. We want to pay our bills. We want to 
change communities. We want to change countries. And we can do it here with Live Good on a simple $49 program, $9.95 a month. Some of you guys, this is my voice right now. You haven't even bought a product because you just want to make money. And everybody you're sweating on, all about the money. Forget the money. Have you have you, have you tried the super rents? Have you tried the greens? Have you gotten on the essential oils yet and tried the products? See, until you do that, no. How can you sell it? How can you tell somebody? When I go to somebody about, hey, get a Costco membership, watch. Because you can buy at a wholesale price. And people are spending $99 to $129 a month. And they don't pay commissions to the affiliates. Are you nuts? And here we are with Live Good saying, you know what? We're going to make a difference. It's not about network marketing. Get to, help to. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is get a membership, $9.95 a month, and get the best, highest quality products in the marketplace at the wholesale prices and save money. And as we continue to add new products and services, whether it's credit repair, household cleaning products, we're going to take the industry. So let me close with this. Let me just close with this. I want to talk to everybody. I want you to hear my voice. I want you to hear me roar. I want you to hear me loud and clear. There is no way on this planet that I could work another network marketing company. There is no way I could go sell a blue pill to help people lose weight for $79 when I understand what I have my hands on here with Live Good. There is no way in hell I can go out there and sell people patches in, a, in, in, in some binary compensation plan on volume when I have Live Good. Because when I got Live Good, I joined Live Good. Not the opportunity, not the money. I understood the mission to help people save money on products they're already buying and to be able to earn some additional income without going broke. And if I can go out here and tell a few people, they tell a few people the same mission there is no way on God's earth I can go promote anything else. I can't do it. I love you guys. I want all of you to win. Take me out the equation, please. It's not about Tim. It's not about me. It's not about death. It's not about any of these builders. It's not about these diamonds. But we know what's going to happen with the diamonds in this company. But you got to believe it. I can't push rope. I can't sell this to any of you. I can't get on these calls and and yell. I can't go out there and bash all of these scams and schemes and garbage. All I can do is say, I love you. And all you got to do when you get off this phone right now is go get your two people go bronze or higher rank up to bank up i can't do it for you death can't do it for you i'm not gonna give you guys reps i'm not gonna guarantee you i'm gonna give you spillover and nobody is stop this is a business just go build it i love you guys but let's take it out to a few people Claudia, my friend down in Miami, we just had a meeting down there. Tell your story of what has happened with your business. We have an interpreter on here. Tell your story real quick. Claudia, cuenta tu historia. Is Claudia here? Uh, yes, she was. Yeah, she uh, She's muted somehow. Uh -huh. Let's Hold on, let me unmute her. And just so you know, she speaks Spanish, so I think uh, Gracella is going to uh, interpret it for her. That's yes, fine. I, I will translate. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. 
Claudia, unmute yourself and let's hear your story. Hola. Claudia, tu historia. Hola. Hola. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Hola, Tim, Des, Gisela. Bueno, a todo este grupo maravilloso que se encuentra acá en este entrenamiento. Hello, everyone. Hello, Tim. Hello, Des. Hello, Gisela. Hello, everyone who is here in this training. Eh, bueno, me siento muy bendecida, muy agradecida con Dios por eh, pertenecer a Live Good ya va a ser un año. I feel so blessed and so thankful to God to being a part of Live Good. Now is one year ago I, I started. Les cuento algo eh, de mi historia. Realmente Live Good llegó a mi vida eh, por alguna oración que hice. La pedí a Dios y a los pocos días, no pasaron ni 15 días y esa oración fue contestada. I will tell you my story. I made kind of a prayer to God that something like this appeared and in some like 15 days this had appeared in my life. Estaba en otra compañía durante tres años y realmente pues ya estaba cansada como yo creo que nos ha pasado a la mayoría de todos nosotros cuando estamos en compañías que no es lo que realmente queremos para nuestra vida. I had been during the last three years in another company. I was so fed up, so tired with this company that wasn't at all what I was wanting for my life. As, as it happens to everyone, that we are in places that don't really feel like us. Pero de igual manera, eh, siempre agradecida porque pienso que todo en la vida es un aprendizaje y aprendí bastante estando en esta otra compañía, pero mi mayor bendición ha sido llegar a Live Good. But anyway, I was so uh, happy, so grateful because I think everyone is a learning process. So, so I had to pass with that to come here. But really, my blessing is to arrive at Livewood and have this opportunity here. Y ahora estoy muy feliz, muy feliz porque realmente eh, trabajé duro con mi equipo para lograr el rango de oro. Now I'm so, so happy because I have been working so, so hard with my team to reach the goal of gold, the, the, this, this rank of gold. Y realmente, pues, primero yo agradezco a Dios, a mi equipo, a mis mentores, a las personas que siempre han estado ahí para mí. So first, I thank God, then my mentors and my team, a lot of people that have been always there for me. Porque realmente sin mi equipo y sin todas las personas que han estado ahí pendientes, esto no hubiera sido posible. O sea que realmente este rango oro no es mío, es de mi equipo completo. Se lo dedico a todos ustedes y sé without, que están acá algunos de ellos. Without all of these people, my team, all the people paying attention to me, helping me, this run wouldn't have been possible. So I dedicate my run to all of these people. I know part of my team and all these people are here. So this is goes for all of them. Gracias también le doy a mi diamante Jesse Garcia, a mi, a mi diamante Corona Tim Miller. I, I want also to thank you, my diamond, Jesse Garcia, and my crown diamond, Tim Miller. Porque para mí han sido grandes mentores en Live Good y no tengo palabras muy bendecida por ellos. Because uh, they have been such great mentors for me here in Live Good, and I cannot say it in words. I'm, I'm, I feel so, so blessed and so thankful. Y realmente lograr este tercer rango me inspira a seguir trabajando duro porque yo sé que apenas esto está comenzando y vamos a empezar a trabajar duro con mi equipo para lograr el platino y que todos ellos vayan subiendo y logrando también los rangos conmigo. Reaching this goal, this gold rank gives me, gets me inspired to continue working with all my team because I know this has just started. So now my aim is that all of them go rank up to all the ranks and we achieve the platino. Y quiero animar a todos, ya para terminar, quiero animar a todos, a todas las personas, no sé en qué rango te encuentras hoy, 
pero solamente te digo que vale la pena, vale la pena trabajar, vale la pena el esfuerzo, el sacrificio, a veces horas sin dormir, a veces días sin comer. So just to close, I want to say anyone to, to give you um, the feeling that it's worthwhile. You have to go and, and go to the rank, even if you don't sleep, even if you don't eat, even if you work so, so hard, all the sacrifice is worth at the end when you reach this rank. Y para mí es una gran, una gran satisfacción poder ayudar a todo mi equipo porque de igual forma ellos hacen parte del LIVGU, hacen parte de mi vida y, re, y como yo les digo a todos ellos, a todas las personas que están trabajando, siempre les estoy diciendo algo, mente de diamante, enfocados, así como los caballitos, sin mirar a los lados. So for me, it's a great satisfaction to help all my team because they and they are part of my my experience in Livewood, but also in my life. And I tell them just to be focused, just to be looking at the front, just as a force who goes to their their goal, but without looking at the sides and just focused on the important things. With a Como diamond mi... mind, very important with a diamond mind to go there. Como dice mi diamante Corona, Tim Miller, enfocados en el foco. As our crown diamond says, focused on the focus. Bueno, eso es todo lo que yo les quería comentar. Muchas gracias eh, a mi diamante Corona Tim Miller por permitirme acá estas palabras, por este reconocimiento y con el compromiso grande de seguir trabajando y puesta la mirada en llegar al diamante con todo mi equipo. So I want to thank you again, our Crown Diamond Tim Miller, to allow me to just share with you this this run to celebrate it here. And, and obviously with the focus on the on the reaching the goal of Diamond and with the aim of helping everyone also to, to go there. Muchas bendiciones para todos y mis mejores deseos para todo el equipo maravilloso de Libgo, que todos sigan trabajando fuerte, logrando sus rangos junto con todo el equipo. Bendiciones para todos ustedes. Blessings to all of you. Go all to your to your objectives with all your teams. Go there and, and lots of blessings for all of you. Los quiero mucho. Gracias. I love you. I love you all. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> I mean this. Gracias. Thank you so much, Gisela. You are awesome also for interpreting that for us. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Hey, I love it. We got another special guest, but he's in New York. And I told him, I said, look, dude, go give you some New York pizza because Chicago pizza is garbage. Everybody get mad at me. I love New York pizza. Jesse Garcia, you're on vacation. You got your babies with you. you. You're just living your good life. Can you say hello to everybody? Hey, everyone. Hi, Tim. Hi Desi, everyone. Hey Jesse. It it's just it's just me. It's just me and my girlfriend. No kids. No, I didn't bring my daughter. <laughs> um, did you get some uh, pizza? I haven't tried the pizza. I I did oh have a pizza from uh from the hotel, but not from uh not from the re not from like a restaurant. So so I'll I'll get I'll let you know what I think. Because the pizza in Chicago, it, we got some good pizza too, you know. Okay, I'm not, you're crazy, I'm not crazy about deep dish, but but um, we got some good pizza in Chicago. So I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely be uh be uh going to the spots that are that people recommended. But enough of that, guys. I, I real quick because I'm I'm in a like a little diner area here. Uh, I just want to ask, can you guys hear me? We hear you well, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First of all, congratulations to everybody that's been, uh, you know, working hard, working hard to to make things happen, especially, uh, you know, right now, after almost two years of Live Good being, uh, you know, what it is. Now is the time to, you know, really we're seeing the, the, the people, the serious people, the people that are focused, working hard, 
And especially right now with everybody that's, you know, hitting rinks, uh, for example, Claudia, um, I, I came right in right now. I was supposed to translate, but I did it. <laughs> so thank you for, for helping us with the translation there. Um, but yeah, but so I'm just excited for things like that. You know, she started uh, last year and now she's reaching gold. You know, she never gave up. She kept going. Uh, so I'm very excited for her. I'm excited for a lot of other people that are ranking up. It's not this is this train's not stopping, guys. You know, it's it's crazy because sometimes we see people that we never thought would would kind of drop off, you know, um, you know, uh, or do something else. And then next thing you know, they're back. OK, so um, it's a, it's, you know, it's up to everybody to, to focus on on the focus, really. And, um, you know, it's OK if other people want to do whatever, but. But the people that stick with things, um, you know, long term and do the right thing and make every day count. That's what that's what I think is really going to show people that what what um, what it is to be focused and, and what kind of results you're going to get when you do focus. You know, uh, nothing in, nothing is easy, guys. Uh, business is not easy. You know, nothing really is easy. But I'm going to tell you something, in my opinion, live good. For me, it's easy. It's simple. It's not hard. It's not hard. We we make it hard, but live good is not hard. If you want to do something online, a business online or offline, like live good, there's nothing like it. And it's this is the easiest thing. It's easy because this the 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 real um thing that we promote is is a is a membership, a subscription. And everybody has subscriptions. So I don't, you know, I don't see anybody. You know, looking at looking at uh, joining a membership like like some strange, you know, thing from out of this world. You know what I'm saying? Like we're we're joining memberships every every time. And that's and this is the one that pays. So, I mean, you got to be you got to be, uh, you know, super like maybe uh, blind or uh, or not with the program with 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 business if you don't see it. But if you see it, you know what I'm talking about. This is the membership that pays, guys. This is it. It's just that's just it. That's the message. And 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 I always say, you know, this is not a hard thing to promote. Um, you don't have to know everything. You just have to know how to how to invite. Master that skill, how to invite. Wake up every day and ask yourself, how can I invite these people? How can I find people and invite them? What can I say? And what am I going to invite them to? If you don't have, you know, your own uh, your own presentations, well, that's OK. Other people are doing Zooms. Other people are, are sharing the, the Live Good Tour video. That's all you really need. You know, you just it's about the numbers. It's not about, oh, this video is not working anymore. <laughs> the video works. The video works. It's six minutes. It's the it's the owner in the video talking. Right. Well, who other what other person would you rather have? in a video explain the business than Ben Glinsky. You know what I mean? There's no human on the planet that can explain better in six minutes this, this opportunity. And when someone sees the owner of Live Good talking and explaining things, and then they see the records, the, 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 the records we've broken, the, the results we have, uh, they're gonna put two and two together and say, oh my God, Ben Glinsky is the, is the CEO, he's talking in this video, Oh my God, Live Good is in a lot of countries and it's changing people's lives. Oh my God, there are over a million members. Oh my God. Like those are the people that are gonna really understand like the, the value of the business and, and just business in general. So that's it. The membership that pays, guys. That's that's my message. I can't talk too long, but congratulations, Claudia. Congratulations, everyone that's ranked up, everyone that's you know focused. I'm going to, you know, every Saturday, every week, every month, every, you know, every time we're, we're get, getting together, we're seeing people uh, winning, you know, and working and happy and getting results, not just financially, but with their health. So keep going, guys. Keep going. We're here together. We're doing this together. Thank you, everyone. Oh, man, I am so fired up right now. Let's go. Let's finish out the month. Tomorrow night is deadline. But you know what? Y'all wanted training, so I'm going to give it to you the way I learned it. Let me go to my best friend in the world, 
my do or die. Desiree, take it away. All right, all right. Can you hear me? Awesome, awesome. And now I'm, I'm clear. I'm, I, I see you, Hope. I see you, Hope. She put her thumbs up, so that means you can hear me. I want to mm -hmm. say sorry to you, Hope, too, because I'm sorry you that you said something about your Facebook page was locked out all. Oh, so she hasn't been online. It happens. It happens to the best of us, right? We, we work hard out there, and then Facebook cuts us off for some reason. You know, I found that about uh, Facebook um, that they were, uh, what were they doing? They, they are, you know, they'll say something like, you can't do this or you can't do that. And, you know, sometimes I'll be like, look, Facebook, you don't control me. <laughs> you don't control me. Telling me when to post, what to post. Oh, you can't use that song. We're not going to pay you for that. I don't care. I'm not out here working for you guys. I work for Live Good. So anyway, so keep that focus on. I know, I know we can get monetized for Facebook, but guys, also remember, why are we here on Facebook in the first place? I'm here because of Live Good. Okay, so that's the goal. The goal is to get the word out and make sure that you get the word out and get your links out there to everybody on Live Good. But let me just piggyback a little bit back off to what uh, Tim was talking about. And we'll probably bounce back and forth on each other, um, you know, on, on, during this training. But I just wanted to bounce back to uh, what he was talking about in regards to why he loved the industry and why he came into the industry. And then I'm gonna just tell you about how we met, you know, but... He talked about he loved this industry because the industry promised him some things. And of course, in order to get those things, you have to do what? You got to go to work. And one of the good things that I've always talked about and, and I always say is my criteria. If you want to ever bring me a business, okay, first things it has to look like. These are some criteria. And you can write this down because these are the criteria that just make sense, okay? First of all, a business needs to look like this. Is it an ease of entry for you to get into the business? Number one, live good is an ease of entry, guys. Do you think it's an ease of entry? Anything less than $100 is definitely ease of entry. We are not hurting anybody with $9.95 for their membership fee, okay? So there's an ease of entry with live good. And so therefore, when the concept was brought to me, I was like, it's a no-brainer. Plus, it was a no-brainer for me because, number one, I like, and somebody asked me this question just yesterday. They said, what makes you confident about this company? And I said, oh, that's a good question. I said, one of the reasons that what make me confident about the company before I even got started with the company, because I know you're just getting started with the company and you have not tried the products or anything yet. So, but what made me comfortable and confident about the company was the owner. I had the opportunity to get to know the owner. You know, I, I was out to his house. I got to visit. He be, we became great friends, you know? So when he decided to do Live Good, it was much easier for me to say yes. Because number one, I know his integrity. I know his background. I know that he's never, ever once missed a check. Uh, he never came up with an excuse of, how he can't pay us. He never stole from us. Now I'm talking, I'm speaking from experience because this has happened to me and other companies where an owner actually stole from a, a, the actual pay plan because he figured most people ain't going to know about some of the money that's in the matrix. So they won't miss it. So he took from that, you know, from those people that didn't, wasn't paying attention Okay. And he, he, this was in another past company, but what I loved about what Ben was doing in the company, in another company that I was once in and, and when he bought live goods to us, it made much sense. I, I, you know, I, I knew about his honesty, his integrity. Uh, again, he always paid on time. He never missed a beat. Matter of fact, when there was a holiday and, and your, your uh, pay, uh, the payday fell on a holiday, and most banks are closed, of course, you know, and, you know, but one thing about Ben, Ben's going to pay you a day before. He's going to make sure that you get your pay. So that was one of the things that I could bank on about our, the, the um, owner of our company, which made me confident about, okay, going into this next thing that he's going to do, because that was the other company with Skinny Body. But now with Live Good, when he bought the concept of 
how would you like to have people stay on the books for five to 10 years as opposed to having people stay on the books for three months? Because what happens is they stay on the books for three months only because they find out, oh, the product works so great. But the problem is I can't afford your product anymore because I only get a, I can't afford this $60. I can't afford this $80. You know, I mean, it does work. I am losing weight, but it's just unfortunate that, you know, I rather, you know, I got to pay my bills and you know, I got to pay my bills. I can't pay this 60 to 90 days. So when he came up with this great concept, of course, where no one is getting hurt now, $9.95 is not hurting anybody. Okay. So that's one of the things that I loved about the ease of entry. The, the next thing that was a criteria of mine and write this down. Okay. So number one, ease of entry. Then number two, quickness of pay. That was a criteria. It met that criteria. He paid quickly. Every single Thursday, we get paid in this company. Every single Thursday. We don't miss a beat. There's never an excuse. Oh, wow, I can't pay y'all this week. Now, for some, somebody on here, if you're new, you may not get paid every Thursday. Why? You have to go out there and at least get your two. Okay? You have to do something in order to get paid. Okay? Same thing when you go to your job. You got to go do something. You got to show up in order to get paid. Unless you got vacation time, they might pay you for that or sick time. But in this case, you have to go out and do something. Go get your two. You're going to hear us keep saying that. Go get your two. And I'm going to speak to the new people in a minute uh, about going to get your two. But again, the criteria is what we're talking about. So you can write this down as your title. These are the criteria of when you're looking at a business, does it meet these criteria? Ease of entry is number one. And number two, quickness of pay. How often am I going to get paid? So if you bring me a business, that's one, one of my questions I'm going to ask. How often am I going to get paid? Okay. In this case, with Live Good, they told me you get paid every week. If you do something, you get paid every week. And there's a one, once a month paycheck that comes as well. And that's where your residual check comes in at. Okay. So we're going to talk about those terms too, because um, I don't want to take for granted. And this is what I was having a conversation with Tim. You know, sometimes as M, uh, people that's been in the network marketing game, we've been in the game so long that we just talk and throw out these terms. And some of the people don't even know what you're talking about. They don't even know what MLM is. They don't even know what networking is. They don't even know what residual is. So you'd be surprised. And the reason why I'm bringing this up because I've had people say, what is that? So I want to bring that to light so that you know when you're talking and talking and saying these terms, don't assume that everybody knows what you're talking about. Because now that we have a live good, there's a lot of people looking at our industry for the first time and they're looking at us and they're coming into this industry. And this is the first time that they're in this network marketing arena. They're coming from nine to fives. They've been working all their lives with corporate America. They don't know what some of these terms are. So don't get in a habit of thinking that everybody knows what your lingo is. You know, the ones that's been in here, me and Tim, we can talk this lingo all day long and we know what we're talking about. But there's others that do not know what you're talking about. Okay. So let's, um again, go back to quickness of pay. We get paid every Thursday and we get paid once a month. Okay. And that once a month, literally will come from the check that you're usually getting when you get that weekly. So if you're getting a weekly, I guarantee you, you will get a monthly. And if you're getting a monthly, you may be getting a monthly by default because you have a great sponsor who's been sponsoring so well that you're getting all the spill down. Okay. It might not happen for some, it might happen for some, it may not happen for you. And if it don't happen for you, that's a good thing. And you might say, why is that a good thing? But believe me, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And you'll know, you'll learn about that later. And for some of the people that's been with me for a while, when they realize when they go to work and they see all these people underneath them, they're going to realize, oh, wow, I'm getting all this spillover. But guess what? Desiree took up all those holes. They're my 50% matches in those holes. But I don't want to talk about that right now because that'll get, you know, I don't want to confuse anybody that's new. Okay. But anyway, so go to uh, the East Century, quickness of pay, and then number three, solid back-end residual income, okay? Solid back-end residual income. 
First of all, what is residual? Des, okay? There's a lot of people I'll ask this at a meeting and I'll say, can anybody tell me what residual income is? And you'd be surprised the answers that you get. You would think that everybody knows what residual is, but they don't. They will tell you all kinds of things. Oh, but I'm going to just tell you guys what residual income is. Residual income is, do you get an electric bill? Do you get a cable bill? Do you get a telephone bill? Well, that's residual income for them. It's residual bills for you because you got to pay it every single month. They set you up one time, one time. They set you up one time, but you have to pay that month after month. Well, that's what residual income is here. The difference is I said income. So that's income that's coming into your home every single month for doing a job good one time. What do I mean by doing a job good one time? That means you're putting quality people on the books. You're putting quality people in live good. Okay. I heard Tim say, put your kids in, put your grandkids in. Yes, you can do that to get you started. But you need to what? Build those kids because the kids may not necessarily go out and build, build that income out there. So what you may want to do is help your children, okay? Like I help one of my grandkids, you know, build. And she actually has money back there, believe it or not. But I help my grandkid. I didn't just put her in and then leave her there. No, I put her in. And guess what? She fell underneath somebody. And whoever she fell up underneath, guess what? The spill down is happening, uh, you know, for that person, right? But I'm actually helping my grandchild. And she actually has money back there that she has not even touched, but it's definitely growing back there. But I put people in underneath her because again, that's what I wanna do to help my grandchildren build legacy income for them as well, okay? So again, solid back in residual income simply means doing a job good one time, but it will continue because you put in great quality people. And those quality people simply are these people, people who want to save money, who also want to earn money. Those are the people that I'm putting back there. And that's the people who are quality people, people that I don't have to remind them that they have to pay their 995 every single month. They pay that consistently every single month. And most of them are paying yearly. So they are locked in yearly. So that's a solid back in the residual income. That's what live good will give you if you're building it, a solid residual income. So again, ease of entry, quickness of pay, and a solid back in residual income. That's what live good has here. That's the components that it has. And it also has a great leadership, which means we have Ben Galinsky, you have Nauta Gazan, you have Lisa and Ryan, okay, who are our core leadership. And they are dedicated, they're committed to our success. And they are giving us the tools so that we can build a successful foundation. So right out the gate, you can be successful here with LiveGood. And you just heard Jesse just talk about, again, the, the actual tools that were given to us. If we utilize it, okay, we go in there and utilize the link that they gave us and it will show the free tour every single time. You need to know what that link is. If you don't know your money link, you'd be surprised how many people don't know their link. They don't know because they have not been taking the time to go in and look at their back office and see the back office. And you have to take them through. Take the people who are coming on board, show them where they need to go. Show them that you have a back office. It's a virtual back office. And it tracks all of the details. It tracks everything that you do in this business, okay? And even if you're sharing your link, you can go back and you'll find that people who signed up on your link, you'll see them in the referred uh, referral column, okay? They're in the referral. Let me see if I can share the screen. Let me see if I can share this. I had it up.
Okay, guys, I was gonna try to share. I wanted to share the, um, let me just say that. I was gonna try to share the, uh, um, I wanted to share the back office because if I share the back office, because what I like to do is I wanna show people, especially the new folks, because we, as you heard the numbers, we have 2,514 people who just became bronze, okay? And that's a hats off to you guys. And if you are silver, gold, platinum, guys, I want to say this to you. Congratulations. Keep going. But just keep putting your two in. Just keep putting two in. Keep doing it. Rinse and repeat. Even if you are silver, you continue to put your two in and become bronze. Continue to put your two in and become bronze, right? You just keep doing that. And as you are doing that, you're teaching your team to do that as well. Everybody should just be going bronze every month. Go bronze every month. OK, so don't look at it like, oh, I already went bronze already. I'm silver. I'm gold. No, just constantly always keep going bronze for yourself, because that's the key so get to teach you. Keep getting your two, but keep teaching to and, and repeat and just keep going and going. And before you know it, you'll keep um, you, you, you'll continue to go wide. And that's what um, Tim was telling us to do uh, is to always go go wide. Um, there was a, other, I wanted to talk about, okay, let me give y'all this thread too. I wanted to share, um, because it's very important to do the follow-up for everybody that you're sharing the link with. And I know a lot of times people, uh, you know, we make, you know, we can make it complicated. We can make it complicated by, uh, not realizing that all you have to do is share the link, share the link first. Okay. And then you want to go back and you want to follow up with people to make sure that they they looked at your link because that's where a lot of times people are not doing they're not putting their name and they may not be putting their email you have to instruct people to do that now when i'm out sharing with other people i'm making sure that they are taking a free tour and make sure you put your name and your email because again if they do not look at the whole entire six minute video then they won't get that information that ben said and that's to look at information. so i'll follow back up with folks and ask them and here's what i'll, I'll follow up i'm saying um hey guys how are you doing i'm just getting the word out to all my friends and you know and this is what i usually send to my friends and my family and i wrote this out so that i can uh share this with you guys okay um hey guys how are you doing? I'm getting the word out to all my friends and my family. And this is for the new folks, the, the people who, who just came on board, because you may not have hit your friends and your family yet. Okay. So you may want to say that to them. I'm just getting the word out, you know, about um, in case I'm getting the word out to my friends and my family in case they know of anyone that could benefit from what I am offering. I'm launching a new business. OK, and this is just for the new people. And I want you to notice what I said. I'm talking actually in third party. OK, I'm not actually talking to them because a lot of times when you talk to people, the first thing they want to do is put this guard up and they want to, you know, but if you put it in third person, then people want to like me, me, I, I, I want, you know, I want to hear about what you got to offer. You know, I found that to be um, interesting because um, we did it uh, one time we were giving out flyers, right? And we were giving out flyers to every other person. And if you do this, right, you'll find the person that you didn't give it to, they're going to come over and want to know why you didn't give it to them. So they want you to give, you know, so that's another way of doing things too, where people, it's, it's like a takeaway thing. You know, everybody wants to be included. But the minute you include them or you sell to them, they put their guard up. You know, it's just like going into a supermarket. I mean, not supermarket, uh, a, 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 a department store. And if somebody, a salesperson runs up to you and then they ask you, hey, uh, you know, how can I help you? And immediately you put your guard up because right now you don't even know what you want in the store. You're just looking right now. But if the right salesman came over to you and said, hi, you know, my name is Desiree and I, um, you know, I, I, I work here and I'll be right over here if you need me. But let me just point out some things. We having a sale going on. Um, 
and it's buy one get one free and if you here's where the socks are here's where the shirts are here's where um the ladies department is over there and if you're looking for any children it's over here but i just want you to know i'll be right over here and if you need me then you can come get me at any time i'm available for you okay now that person will appreciate me more than a person who's following them around the store asking them how can i help you oh what about this or suggesting this you know everybody don't like to be sold to they 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 want to they want to they want to buy oh yeah that's why i'm in here i'm here to buy something but they don't like to be sold to so we gotta like take that defense down a little so sometimes what you got to do is you have to like figure out <clears throat> ways on how you're not selling to somebody you're just basically sharing with them um i don't want you to be afraid of the word sales OK, when somebody asks me what my position is, what my title is, I'm sales. I'm in sales. Do you know sales are like the highest paid people, sales people? They are like some of the highest paid people out there. I'm, I, I am proud to be in sales. OK, but I don't want to come off as I'm selling somebody something. We have something here with Live Good that you can be proud of. We're not hurting anybody. It's only $9.95 for our membership and you can get an array of products for the lowest cost possible, but the highest quality out there. So I'm proud of that. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of our mission. Our mission is to get people healthy. Our mission is to, to uh, not um, have people break the bank doing it, but we want to also get people healthy and save money, right? So isn't that our mission? Okay. Get people healthy, stay healthy, and not go um, and not have to uh, spend a fortune to do it. That's the mission. Mission, and make sure you master that as well. Know what your mission is so that you know you're not out there to hurt anybody. So you'll feel very confident about what you're out there doing. So again, let me just say this to all the people, your friends and family. Yes. Hey, friends and family. Um, I, here's what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the word out to all my friends and my family. I'm launching a new business. Okay. Let them know that you're launching a new business. And I know that it may not be um, fit for you. Um, and, you know, and that's totally um, fine, but I'm looking for people who have low energy. I'm looking for people who might have some pain. I'm looking for people who are, who have some anxiety going on, um, uh, you know, or anything like that, you know. Um, and for any reason, if someone needs a second stream of income, I'm looking for those people as well. My seasoned business partner would love to help just, you know, I would love to, um, oh God, I'm getting all twisting and what I'm saying because I got some distraction going on um, um but anyway for any reason if someone needs a second stream of income I'm looking for those people okay and my seasoned business partner and I would love to help them um you know and this is what I do with some of my team members you know because again I want to be a part of um, them to uh you know get over their fear of talking to people so you can let them know that me and my season partner you know i'm here to help you know get them on board if if they see fit to you know but you want them to take of course the free tour first okay so that's what i tell my friends and my family you know again i'll repeat that again how are you doing i'm getting the word out to all my friends and my family in case they need to uh, in case they know of anyone that could benefit from what I have to offer. I'm launching a new business and I know it may not be a uh, fit for you and that's totally okay. But I would really appreciate if you share my information with someone that might, um, that might complain about low energy, pain, anxiety, or want to lose weight or are having maybe some, you know, any type of health issues. Okay. So that's, that's basically my little squirt that I'll, I'll give out. I gave out to my friends and my family when I first got started, uh, in live good. And in my, my story in live good was in my first, my first two days, I've actually went to silver. I actually got 20 people on board. And that was because again, guys, I've been experienced. I've been in the industry a long time. So you can't compare your story with other people's story, but what I would encourage you and what I would like to really, really um, emphasize is that when you get in any type of business, you want to create a story for yourself. You really do. You want to create a story. So whether it's um, I've been in the business for a week now and I just got my two 
or I got it. You just want to hit the ground running fast because speed likes numbers and then people want to know what it is that you did. They don't care about what Desiree did. They don't care about what your sponsor did or what Tim did. They want to know what Hope did, okay? They want to know uh, what Gisela did, you know, Claudia did. What did you do, okay? Because you're the one that's bringing it to them, okay? So that's the reason why I wanted to give you some kind of guidance to if you are new, you want to hit the ground running fast. And, and, and what better person could uh it would be you to get your two okay so if you can it, and i call it the you two moment you know bring you come and you bring two you come bring your two okay it's a youtube movement that's what we want to do we want to bring our two immediately okay um another quick thing that i want to uh say was yeah make yourself have a launch date too get yourself a launch date of when you want to launch your business and you can launch at any time. I don't care if you've been in the business for a while. Do, relaunch. Do another launch. Okay? Always be launching. We're just getting started and live good. Even though we've been in uh, business for about a, a year and a half now. Guess what? We're just getting started. We're just scratching the surface. Because I'm going to tell you why you want to say those things. Because when you been in the business or if the business been out there for a minute, you know, people don't want to come into the business because they feel like it's too late. It's not too late. We are just getting started. Okay. So that's important to note as well. Um, there's something else that I wanted to make sure I mentioned. And I don't want to hold you guys because I know it's a Saturday and I want to get, uh, I would like to get, get people into action like immediately. When you get first get started in this uh, company, you want to take your people and get them, um, like I say, to the back office, right? Once they do get started, you want them to go into their back office and learn the business, learn about how to navigate through their back office, look at the products, make sure they go in and order a product. Uh, it's not a requirement, but it is necessary. If you are going to sell me anything, our first thing I'm going to ask you is, um, how does this work? Uh, have you used this yet? And be honest, if you haven't used that, you didn't use it. I haven't used all of Live Good product. Um, but my favorite products are the Super Rays, all the daily essentials. They are my favorite products. And I can highly, you know, recommend those because I've used those products. So it's also trans, you're being transparent with people as well, letting them know that, hey, I've used the products and this is the products that I've used. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm 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 gonna order that. Um, if you're new, please go out and, and order a product. If you are not um, somebody that have, um, you know, bought your products yet and haven't gotten them yet, that's fine. I heard um, one of the young ladies, um, she just came on and that's what she was just talking about. She got her coffee. Shout out to you. She she got her coffee and that's Julie. And she, she got her coffee and guess what? Now that she got her coffee, she'll be able, you know what you should do, Julie? Make sure you go out there and do a video. Saying this is my, my coffee just came and, and and show how you're making your coffee. That's another good way of, of advertising on social media. Okay. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Uh, it was something else. And, um, of course. And be careful of what you speak out your mouth, guys. You shall have what you want. I'm very big on that. About unlocking what's in you. Okay. If you're speaking negative, if you feel like you can't, you're right. You can't. If you say you can, you can. Okay. My mom said success comes in cans, not cannot. Okay. Put your cans in your cabinet, put it wherever you got to put it. Remind yourself, I can. I can. I have a very, I have a fear, guys, uh, of this, of video. And I, I, I really do. I really like to stay in the background. And Tim knows this. And a lot of times I like to stay in the background. I have a lot of experience, I have a lot of knowledge. And again, I do know, I do have to share the knowledge. You have to share in order for your team to grow. And it is bigger than, and, and Live Good, what I love about Live Good is that you guys are all my team. It's not just, I have a separate team. You guys are all my team. Anybody that needs my help, you can always reach out to me on the back office and I'm here to help to give you any type of advice. Uh, I, again, I've been in this industry a long, long time. I've had success in the industry simply because I was willing to be coached. I was willing to follow simple systems and I was always willing to go out and do the work. 
I'm not afraid of getting my hands dirty, rolling up my sleeves and getting in the trenches and doing the work. Um, so I do, I recommend you, if you are somebody that, you know, you want to sit back and just be on these trainings all day long and not really applying what you're learning. We have so many awesome people that come on board and, and, and they don't have to have the title of a trainer. You don't have to have the training title. You can be somebody of experience because you actually did the work. And when you do the work, that's what makes you experience. And if you fail, it's okay. As long as you get back up. That's the goal. Get back up. The people who failed and don't get back in the trenches and don't get back into the game, to me, they the ones that fail. The ones that say, I give up on MLM. I give up on network marketing. I don't like it. It's this, that, and that. Um, I'm just so glad that didn't happen to me. Yes, we have people that stole and people that scam. And yes, we've had all them bad experiences. I've seen it. I've been, I can, I'm one of the ones that can have experienced it. Okay. I've actually had a person, I mean, I earned a, a, a car. I literally earned uh, uh, one of my um, Mercedes Benz from one of the companies where the guy, uh, you know, he did that. He literally cut my website off and I did nothing. I never cross recruited. I didn't do any of those things. I could have gave up. I was frustrated. I really was frustrated to being in this industry. Thank God for Ben who came back and really, uh, really uh, showed us a better way. You know what I mean? Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben you know, for showing us a better way and, and fixing this industry for us. But I'm glad I didn't give up. I know it can be frustrating. And it's frustrating out there for a whole lot of network marketers out there. They're frustrated because it's scam after scam and somebody taking our money. But guess what? Get back up. Get back up. That's why they put erasers on pencils. Okay? Because guess what? You can erase that and correct it. Okay? Get back in the game. Don't be one of those people that say, I'm out of the game. I never want to do another thing. I fear people say, this is my last rodeo. I've said that too, but guess what? For real, it, it, I hope this is the last rodeo. I really hope Live Good is the last rodeo. But if Live Good was to go away today or tomorrow, it's in my spirit. I'm not going anywhere. I love the people too much. So I want you to know, be encouraged. Just Get in the game, though, guys. And here's what I'm going to leave you last without, um, I want to know, there's four types of people in the world, you know, and I wrote this down, so I want to make sure I say this correctly. There's four types of people in the world, or in this game, should I say, okay? We have, you got the players, you got the, and you write this down, you got the players, you got the watchers. What do you say? I want you to watch the start of this race when they show you the start again. Okay. When they show you the start of the race again, I want you to watch the start of the race. When they show you the start of the race, when it's over. Okay. Do we need to mute out or do we need somebody to take over the mic? <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess we got that muted out. Okay. Okay. Now, again, the four, the four types of uh, people in the in this world okay we got the players we got the watchers we got the one wanders and the one i mean the wonders and the wanders okay and i'm saying let me spell that out for you the wonders are the w-o-n-d-e-r-s and then the wanders the w-a-n-d-e-r-e-r-s okay the players let's go to the players let's talk about the players now, I want to know who you are, and you can let me know in the chat once we're done. The players are the ones that's already in the game. For example, they're in Live Good. These are the, the players getting on the calls. They're the team. They're actually in action. They already they, they, they got into action. Whether you just came on board or not, you are in action. You already are writing out your list. And that's what I wanted to talk about, too, that list, okay? You already wrote out your list, okay? So you're the players. You don't wrote out your list. You already know who you're going to talk to. You're in the game pretty much. So that's the players. The players on the field are the ones that's playing the game, right? They're the ones on the field playing, okay? Then you got your watchers. Now, <coughs> the 
Panthers are the ones that come to the stadium, right? They're the ones that sit in the, in the field, they're in the seats. They're watching the game being played. Okay, they're the ones that get on the Zoom and all they do is they watch. They might even take some notes. Okay, but they watch, they take notes. That's it. When they get off the Zoom, that's it. They just watch, they took notes, and then they probably also, who knows, they might be complaining, who knows, I don't know, but they just watch it. They watch it, and that's what the players, um, the spectators do. They just watch the game. They just keep watching the game being played. They keep seeing all the results. They see the 1.3 million people that's in the game, okay? They even talking about, they may even say, yeah, we got 1.3 million people in the game and live good. Okay, they just watch. I mean, they still the watchers, spectators. That's what I call the watchers, the spectators. Okay, then we got the wanderers. Who do you think the wanderers are? The ones that's outside the stadium. They're the tailgaters. They're the ones that's tailgating. They're the ones that's drinking the beer. And guess what they hear? They just hear all the noise inside the stadium. They don't see what's going on in the stadium. They just see what's, they just hear the noise, all the rallying. So that's the ones that's probably on Facebook that see all of what's going on. You know, they didn't live good though. They didn't live good. But they just see what's all going on. They don't post. They, matter of fact, if I go to their wall, <laughs> I go to their wall and they're in live good. And I, I know they in live good because I asked that question. Uh, are you in live good? Because they, they, they like in my post and I go to their wall to like their post. And then I go in there and also and just be curious, like, dang, is this person in live good? Because if they're not, I want to ask them, are you in live good yet? That's why I'm that's why I'm looking at their profile in the first place, right? Then I go out there and I look and I don't see no nothing on their wall that says anything about live good. So that's the wanderers, the ones that's out there listening and they're hearing all the noise. They're in there. Okay. Then you got the wanderers. You know who the wanderers are? Now these are the people they ain't even outside the stadium. Guess where they are? They they're they're in their car in, in navigation mode, meaning that they're trying to find where the stadium is, where the game is. They don't even know where the game is. They're trying to figure it out where it is. So these are the people probably who ain't even plugged in. They ain't in none of the chats. And it's probably somebody's fault why they ain't in the chats. I don't know. But they're not even in the chats. They ain't even plugging. The, 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 I don't even know. They just lost. They are the to they're just totally lost. Okay, these are people who are just lost trying to find their way. They're trying to find their way and trying to figure it out. And I hope that they do figure it out and find the game and find it before the game is over. You know, I hope, you know, because again, we got a two year opportunity, guys. We got a two year opportunity. We got a two year opportunity window. What do I mean this by opportunity window? The two year opportunity window means that. You know, Amazon, for example, when Amazon first started out, they started out with books, then they started out with uh, the uh, audibles, and now look what they got. They got everything. Now, if Jeff Benzo came to me and said, hey, Desiree, I see you doing this good. You're doing such a great job. Can you come and uh, market our, can you come and market for us at, uh, you know, and, and tell people about uh, Amazon? You know what I would say? You know, Jeff, Amazon is great. Matter of fact, I ordered something just yesterday off of Amazon. It's great. But all my friends and family already knows and they already got memberships with uh, Amazon already. So to me, it's not an opportunity. I'm with LiveGood because LiveGood is still an opportunity. And the reason why I'm with LiveGood is because guess what? When I ask somebody, are you with LiveGood yet? They say, what's LiveGood? No, I'm not in LiveGood. I just asked somebody this in Africa, matter of fact, the other day. He, he, he signed in on my wall and I said, are you in LiveGood yet? That's the question, right? Write that down. Are you in live good yet? That's the question that I ask everyone that's on my social media. You know, are you in live good yet? That's it. I keep it that simple. I don't do a bunch of talking, okay? I just say, are you in live good yet? And the reason why I want to know, are you in live good yet? Because they either going to say no, what's live good? And that's where I go into, oh, check this out. And I give them my link. And then we can talk and have questions afterwards after they looked at the link. 
okay? But so I those are the questions that um you know I pretty much asked. And so again, and I just lost my tangent because I went off into that tangent. But uh, um but again, I just want you to know when we talking about those those four types of people. Now I want to know, and I want to go into the chat real quick. Chat chat chat. Let's go to the chat. Tell me who are you in this game? Oh, okay. I see a few people that said they were players, players. All right, Janet. Shout out to Janet. She's a player. Janet, Pinky. All right. Y'all players, y'all already doing it. They putting some action in. Shout out to all the players. Shout out to the players. And if you are not a player, and you can be honest. I love the honesty on people when they are um, they are not players yet. Because they just got, they took, they feel like they just got started. So I'm a watcher. I'm just trying to see what y'all doing. I'm trying to see Desiree. Are you going to flip flop? I want to see if you're going to flip flop this. I want to see if you're going to be in something in, in this uh, two weeks from now. Are you going to be in this three weeks from now? So that's why I'm a watcher, this. I'm a watcher because I'm just trying to see, are you going to be in live good a year from now? Are you going to be in it a week from now? Are you going to be in it a month from now? Are you committed? Because I want to know, should I be up underneath you? Does Should I come with you, Desiree? Should I be with you? Are you going to be committed? Okay, so maybe that may be why they are a watcher. I don't know. But let's be honest. Okay, Vicky, who's Vicky? Vicky R, you a watcher? <laughs> Where's Vicky? Raise your hand, Vicky. There she is. Vicky, okay, Vicky, now tell us why you a watcher. I want you to unmute and just tell me why you a watcher. Okay, I guess I, I'm a watcher, I guess, um, because I just haven't really figured out what to say to who, and actually mm -hmm. I got, I feel as if I got more listening to you today now about what to say to people and who than what I have gotten so far in the past. That's awesome. You know, from from the getting started in live good thing that was sent out when I first got in, um, just had it simply said talk to everybody, talk okay. to talk to everybody and say what what do I say I don't know. Glad you said that, and I'm back up because you know what, and I love see this is what I love I love interaction. I love the interaction. That's why I do well with my one-on-ones with people. And again, because uh, I, I get so much from just listening to what the need of a person is. Because to me, I don't like to waste time with just trainings. I want to be interactive with people so I know exactly what it is that you need and what it is that you want. And many people need just what you just said. They don't know what to say. And it's so easy to say, just talk to everybody. So here's what I want you to know. We don't want you to prejudge. Yes, that's what we mean by talk to everybody. But here's, let me take you just to this really very quickly and then we're gonna go. Um, when it comes down to prospecting, I want you to first write this down. I want you to write down a list, okay? And I want you to pour out your cell phone into this list without prejudging, without looking at the names and saying, no, I don't wanna put that name down. Just pour it out write it down. It is so important. Guys, I don't care how many systems, automations, all that other stuff that goes on out here. I'm not saying they don't work, but they all are behind a list. You gotta have that list. You gotta have this. So write it down. So for example, I'm giving you my example of what I do. If I'm talking to people out in the restaurants, um, I was in Vegas, I was in Dallas, I was just in all these different places and I met people, right? Guess what I had to do? I wrote down their names. I wrote all those people down that I met. They became people on my list. I never am at without a list. If I'm without a list, guess what, guys? You know what that means? I'm out of business because I'm in the people business, right? So let's just say if I sold clothes and sold sheets and purses and different things, and I'm saying things that I used to sell. So, so 
if I was ever out of those things in my inventory, I'm out of business. But as long as I had products, I was in business. I would never say I'm broke because I've always got products. If I got products, I'm always able to make some money. Okay. Same thing with this business. If you have people, you have your business, you have a business. Okay. So you have to have a list, write down every single person's name on that list. 